Hello and welcome. This episode is all about this prototype LED learning center I am working on for both the PIC MCU and the Arduino Uno. For some time I've wanted to come up with an easy way for electronics enthusiasts to get into programming both LEDs and 7 segment displays. I also wanted something that would work on more than just one platform and not just limited to the PIC. My solution is this LED Learning Center for both the PIC and Arduino. The intention of this shield is to provide an easy way to learn to use both multicolor LEDs and a multi-digit 7 segment LED display. To that end, the unit has a 3-digit 7-segment display, a 2-pin red-green LED, and a 3-pin red-green LED. At this point, I've only got the test code working on both platforms to verify that all the LEDs are working correctly. Let's take a look at the PIC test program in action. As the program progresses, it activates each LED in all modes and the 7-segment display. This allowed me to verify that all the circuitry and components are working as they should. And so far, everything is looking pretty good. Now let's see the Arduino do its thing. And to do that, we need to first remove the pick from the shield and then plug the shield into an Arduino Uno. The Arduino code is a little bit different than the pick code for a few reasons. First, I wanted to test the two switches with the Arduino to make sure I had them working correctly. And by pushing each switch, LED2 will change color, which confirms the switches are working as intended. Second, I made the mistake of connecting LED1 to pin 0 and 1, which made the Arduino impossible to program while the shield is connected. Those two pins are used by the USB interface to program the MCU. On this first prototype build, I have severed those two connections here, which means LED1 will not work with the Arduino. This meant that a Rev B board would have to be prototyped to correct the LED1 issue. So, enter the Rev B board. I've moved the LED1 connection to A3 and A4, which leaves 0 and 1 not connected. Now the Arduino can be programmed while the shield is installed. However, and there's always something you've missed. I failed to update the silk screen and also discovered at this point that I had also had a silk screen error. I had pins 0 and 1 reversed. Yay me. Of course this means there will be a Rev C board that will correct these issues. And at this point I don't see any reason to actually build up a Rev V board. It would be a waste of time and parts because I'm going to have to build up a Rev C board anyway. So I'm just going to wait until I actually get the next revision prototyped up to build the next version. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and use the Rev A board for some PIC LED tutorials using C. So you can expect those to start appearing in the coming weeks. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and take care. And be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.